Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Anyways, um, being with Lindy Kelly, I don't really have any update besides just like I start going to therapy, like not physical therapy, but actual therapy therapy because like I've been having some um, issues and stuff like that. I don't want to mention on camera yet, you know, I'm not really strong there mentally to say something, <laughs> but it's not my depression or anything, don't worry. That's like, I don't know why, that just kind of exited out my body really for a minute, so. Hopefully it's not coming back, but um, I've been dealing with some things from the accident, and I was like, well, it's time to go to therapy before it gets worse, you know? Um, I don't know, I've been also feeling, like, very frustrated, like, agitated, like, like I'm just, like, irritable, you know? Like, I don't know if I need to get out of the house or what, but, like... I've been in a house since I got a hospital, and the only time I get out, it's like for appointments. But I haven't really just been out and about for real, for real, like doing things that I actually love and enjoy to do. And I know I can't do that, you know, like, like it's, not, it's not even going to work. It's just like, you know, oh, I want to like get some wings by myself, you know, or if I want to, you know, just go to the mall, you know, and just walk around <laughs> pretty much. Or if I want to go to the Galleria, you know, I'm not going to Galleria, hell no. But like, I'm just saying, you know, I just am missing that independence to where I can just like go when I want to go, come back when I want to come back, spend my money when I want to spend money, and not worry about like. I mean, of course, I worry about certain things, but like, I'm not like, I'm not just like in a situation to where I never had like my independence just be like taken away from like that I know it's just like temporary but like this is like mentally drive me crazy like I'm full on just like irritable and then on the weekends when people are home they like leave and leave me here and I'm just kind of like I'm the one that's mentally needing to get out like I feel like so like cabin fever right now it's unbelievable and even walking outside the house does nothing for me. It really doesn't. So, like, cause that just kind of teases the fact that, hey, you can go outside, but, like, you're nearly stuck here on this land because you don't really have a way to go. And I can't even call Uber or Lyft because, like, what's that going to do for me? Because I, I usually Uber and Lyft's cars are smaller. I need a more bigger car, and a bigger car will cost me more money, and I can't do that right now, <laughs> you know, because I'm trying to, like, hold on to my money, because I did, I had to really, I mean, I'm not, I can't, I'm not, my daughter's saying you can't really work, so I'm just like, okay, so this halo is very, like, top-heavy, so if I bend down or something, I can actually fall, you know, for real, for, like, I'm, like, a big old baby at this point, and when this comes off, my neck, I won't have any neck muscles, because my head's been up like this for a while, so I I mean, I have neck muscles, but, like, I won't really know how to coordinate my neck. So, I'm just, like, pretty much like a newborn baby at this point. Like, but it would be, like, kind of, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I can, like, really hurt myself like that. So, they could put, like, a hard cast on there. But, like, I'm just really waiting, waiting for this to come off. And then, hopefully, my doctor will give me some sort of, like, okay. But I doubt they will because, like, that's not my primary doctor. Um... So they may say, oh, let's go to your primary. But the thing is, this accident happened not even a week that I was here. And it happened. So I didn't have time to have a primary doctor. I was going to do it on my day off, but I just want to do something else to enjoy myself, you know? And um, finding a primary doctor for me is kind of hard because, like, a lot of, I mean, certain doctors here um, prescribe me medication that I'm actually allergic to. And when I tell them, hey, I'm going to this, they just give it to me anyways. And I, then when I start having that reaction, it's kind of like, there we go again. So that's why I stopped going to certain doctors. And now I'm not trying to trust hospitals because, like, they were giving me medication that I was not supposed to be on. And my insurance did not approve. So that's probably why I'm having an issue of getting my bill back from the hospital because, like, my hospital does not approve me of being on insulin. And I was trying to tell them, hey, I can't be on insulin because they're not going to cover this. So, you know, 
like, you guys gonna screw me over. Because, like, um, they approved it one time from my pharmacy, and um, they were like, okay, here you go. But, like, I don't know why they, they approved it the first time, and then now they're not gonna approve it. If they're not gonna, like, if they weren't gonna approve it, they should have said, no, we're not gonna approve this at all. You know, so that to me really makes no sense. Like, you know, like I'm just not understanding, you know, all this. So they said it was a two step verification process. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> you know, like, you give me, you prove like all this other stuff for me, like my inhaler, some other pain pills, not pain pills, but like some other medication that I actually need. And you're not going to prove that. Like, and of course, I thought the most expensive thing on my budget was that, but I didn't want to be on insulin in the first place, you know? So I'm just kind of like, why guys, what can you say to your guys to say no? You know, you would have saved me a whole lot more, you saved me a whole lot more, you know, um, bills that way. You know, I, I just don't understand. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm hella confused at this point. And I'm surprised they even proved my inhaler, because, like, um, I thought they weren't, and they approved it, and I was like, so you approved my inhaler, which is, I mean, I'm, a, I'm like born with asthma, and I'm a, like, newly, like, diagnosed diabetic, but, like, I can take, I can control it with exercise and metformin, which I told the hospital, they were like, oh no, you can't work out right now, and the hospital was just so scared of, like, I don't know, I don't know why they're, what they're so scared of, because I know what I can do and what I can't do, they're just kind of, like, very you know like over the board kind of like concern and I think it was cause, because not, not a lot of people had experience in taking care of somebody with a halo which I think that's why they were trying to send me home really quick and um then when the nurses came here they're like oh do you have this that to there I was like no they're like well you need that I'm like but the hospital didn't improve that they're like really I'm like yeah cause they didn't put me with a walker they didn't put me with like a toilet seat for me to sit on like I gotta have a lifted toilet seat and a bar to sit down because like I that toilet situation is horrible. So when I got on, I was like, okay, this is cool. And um, I was supposed to be having, I mean, they didn't want to give me no hospital bed, but like I was like, well, I have to have one, so you know, because I can't sleep in a regular bed right now because this halo puts so much pressure. It's ridiculous, and um. I can't sleep on a chair or a couch. It's like it's just it's just a lot of pressure. Unless I'm just like hella tired, then it was like boop, you know, whatever. Um. So yeah. Um. Hopefully on the 28th, this will kind of be off, and I can do more stuff. I want to have a hard cast on. I'm probably going to have this on. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't want this on. I really don't want this on. Um. I don't know. I'm just irritable, really. I'm just irritable because, like, I just want my life back to where it was. You know, like, me being independent, going to school, filling a full-time job, feeling like an adult for the first time in my life, you know, somewhat in my own place. So, I kind of want that again. I know I can get it. I'm just really impatient, honestly. And I have, like, one of the most severe injuries known to man to where I could have been paralyzed and I'm grateful I did not and I'm grateful I'm not in the hospital I'm just ready to be I feel like I'm stagnant at this point I feel like the more stagnant I am the more not independent I'm not being I feel like once this is off I'm not going to be how I was you know what I'm saying if that makes any sense to anybody right now I'm just mumbling and jumbling and saying stuff and I told all this to somebody last night and they were like oh yeah I understand I understand. It was just like very kind of cold. I'm just like, I'm trying to get an ear and have someone listen. And you just type, just, I understand. I understand. But like when you told me your dream stuff, like that, I was like, okay, cool, awesome. You know, I was like, more and most. I didn't start telling guys my thing, feelings, start telling a female my thing because like, Y'all just don't be responding the way I want to respond. <laughs> like, just like if I'm like going to you for an ear, I want you to listen. <laughs> and I'd be like, whatever, whatever. That's just how I felt. And I was like, 
Like, I have all these emotions. I was like, I'm angry at you, but like, I don't key love you, but it's like, what's up? You know, it's, 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 it's like, that's why I'm bidding here. Like, a lot of people were like, under, like, they're listening, but they're like, not understanding where I'm coming from. They're like, okay, you know, wait. Like, I've been waiting since like, I got the hospital for this to be off. Like, oh, you know, like, oh, two more weeks, three more weeks. I was like, if I could pull this off myself, I would, and I'll be happy. Cause like, I don't know, I can't lay comfortable. I can't like, I don't know. It's like digging into my skin and leaving bruises. I can't even show these bruises cause like they're just in parts of me. Like, I can show you, but I probably flush in my boots a ton, and I can't do that on YouTube. Um, it's like right here on my stomach. Like it's putting a lot of pressure. And it's making my stomach look flat, but it's like, I know it's, it's gonna like pop out. But, um, it's just, I don't know, I have been, I'm in a bruise and a rash where this is like laying on. And I put something underneath to like kind of like not do that, but like other parts of my body are starting to itch from this brace thing. And I'm like, great, something else to deal with. So, I'm not sure really what's going on. But it's irritating. I'm just, I'm just irritated. <laughs> so, I'm irritated and moody and I'm not on the monthly. I'm just like, I just want to do something fun and get out of the house, but it seems like everybody else can get out of the house but me. <laughs> and that's kind of like, 